When you start a vast, you will find in your taskbar you have two icons. There is the I and the A. Now the I is the virus recovery database. Now what this does, it creates a database about the state of the files going back three versions and it updates this every three weeks or so. And should you get a virus at any time, which has bypassed the real time scanner, then you'll be able to restore back to one of the previous versions. Now all you have to do is to right click the eye and you have the option to generate the VRDB now, generate VRDB when the computer is idle, or generate only when the screensaver is running. You can also disable this program. Uh, I set mine to generate when the computer is idle and it works just fine. Once it's done that, when you've generated a VRDB now and clicked on that setting, when it's completed, you can also select to merge it with the main Avast icon so it runs within Avast itself. The second icon is the Avast icon. Now if you right click that one, you have your own access protection control, start Avast antivirus, the log viewer, program settings. Now for the settings, test memory during application startup. Leave these three blank. Enable skins for simple user interface, enable skins for explorer extension, show the results of explorer extension and show explorer extension icon. Appearance, animate the icon when scanning, you can use translucent effect if you like but I'd leave it as it is. The chest, you can set the maximum size of the chest and the maximum size of the file. Confirmations, leave these all checked as they are. Language, if you want to pick a different language to English, simply go here, scroll down, pick your language, tick the box and then click next and it will install it for you. Sounds, you can enable or disable the sounds or you can go into settings and create your own sound. Logging, the file size limit is 4096 kilobytes. Leave it at notice, this works fine. Exclusions, you can exclude files and folders from the scan apart from those that are covered with the resident protection. Update, automatic for the virus database. For the program, it's the default setting is ask when update is available. I've changed it to automatic so it updates itself. Update connections, if you use dial up, select the first box. Any other type of connection, tick the second box and for proxy, either auto detect using IE settings or specific proxy server which is what I use. Type in localhost and port 12080 then test your connection. The connection's fine. Alerts, leave those as they are. The report file generates a report which is saved in the RWIL folder in your C program files and I've selected task start, stop, hard errors, soft errors, skip files and infected files. Saved it as a text file and overwrite existing files. It's handy to go back over if there should be anything that's gone amiss somewhere. SMTP you can leave as it is. Troubleshooting Leave these all as they are, unticked. You do not want to disable the rootkit scan or the self-defense module. So leave those as they are.